Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. From the 10. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourself. And that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. He'll get this to about the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 38, Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 34. Allen. And Davis has it over the middle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, Cook. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a first down carry for Harris. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Here's Allen. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. That's interference. Ethan. 
So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. to the touchdown bass to kick it away this is taken just shy of the 10 and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 the Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa their quarterback from Alabama at the helm his ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself how did he pull that off Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down and four, Tua, and they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Play action, now it's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Call that a very strong gain of 24. I don't care who you put on him, he's gonna be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm gonna have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Running the counter with Mostert. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Bills have recovered. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal.
Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back. And he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. From the 36, Allen. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is, is calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins will take over possession here up at the 44. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. After the turnover, it's Tua. This will be... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! Now this is picked up by the Bills. Gets... And he lost the football. And they are going to get this one back, it looks like. So nearly like-for-like like fumbles, but they hang on to this thing and keep it a turnover. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 45 on second down, Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. 
Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Allen going to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great play there. 27 yards. And the Bills have taken a two touchdown lead now. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Bass on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at the 34. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Yeah. 
They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. They hand it off to Mostert. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's got Rome. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And the final number, pretty impressive courtesy of Next Gen Stats, 21.4 miles per hour. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. now to kick it away after the touchdown from the 10 and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 and now this offense comes back out onto the field the offense coming back out here plenty of energy ready to roll looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown Charles their last time out and that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To the air, Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Phillips. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. Oh, able to avoid him. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. 
They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. It's a five receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. Allen now looks to throw, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So they had a good drive going, a chance to build on this first half lead, but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game. And you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one. Now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. Sanders on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. And Beasley with it over the middle. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now Allen. 
He'll go right back to Beasley. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw, it's Allen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that one not being picked off? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've hit halftime all even. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They fake the handoff, now Tua. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he goes out right around the 39. Call it a gain of three on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Play action. Now it's Tua. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. 
The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Allen to throw it. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten more there and another first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On play action, Allen. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. To throw again on second down, Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll lead here to a third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route 
and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Allen now on first down. And this one caught by Beasley. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down, here's the run with Cook. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. On the give, this is Harris. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Nine yard line, second and six. Allen going to throw. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's third and four now. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. This to Hines on the drop-off. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Josh Allen scoring on the two-yard keeper, and the Bills go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Partner, it wasn't that long ago that when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game, you can see their eyes roll and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. Well, guess what? The college game has definitely infiltrated its way into the NFL. Yeah, and, so, and these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From the six. 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to pass to a, his throw incomplete. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football, 50%. Typically not going to get it done, is it? And let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. Let's go. Let's go. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Two are going to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing now is Chunga Vailoa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. On second down, Mostert. Room here to run. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. You need your wide receivers as blockers, sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. This is third and two, maybe the biggest play in this football game. Now Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. 
Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill, 35 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Sanders now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Fielded right around the eight. Well, now how about this return? And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game winning drive right here. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. Here's Allen on first and ten. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Allen off the play fake. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. They hand this off to Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. And the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Damian Harris, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So Tua and the Dolphins down 28-21. A little over a minute to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Tua throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Tua. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Two and a throw. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. And even 40 yards. Oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Tua. And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Sanders on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we... This one came right down to the wire, and CD, they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, 